Okay, so I'm Tyler Moreland. We're here uh, Interbike 2012, and we're actually going to take you through the new SRAM XX1 family. So, really, where I came from was was actually two sides of the scale. So, one was uh, XC Race. You know, we had all of our athletes out there on one by drive trains. You know, because they wanted to basically get away from front shifting. They want to be the fastest, most efficient. You know, guys out there. On the other side. We had enduro racers that also wanted a one-by drivetrain, obviously with uh, more chain management, and uh, and then a wide range of gears, so for for climbing and descending, a lot like the cross-country guys. So what, what it came down to is, you know, we, we saw the need on the XC side, and we saw a need on the enduro all mountain side. So and definitely from the consumer side too. So we have a lot of people out there running one by ten. So we wanted to try and figure out a solution kind of for, for both sides. And really what it came down to is, uh, is a dedicated one by system. And that's what we're looking at today. So a lot like other SRAM families, you know, we, we wanted to make sure that this is, you know, 100% optimized for what it's intended to use. You know, it, it podiumed uh, the top three spots of the Olympics. So gold, silver, and bronze. And then uh, it's been really successful under Jerome's bike. So Jerome Clements, uh, an amazing enduro athlete, kind of cleaned up all year, which we were pretty stoked on. And uh, he was really influential to the development of XX1. So kind of looking over the technology, we can kind of start from the front and work to the back. So what we're looking at here is, uh, is obviously a, a dedicated one by ring. So we, we've gone away from the pins and the ramps of a, of a front ring that needs to shift. And we've actually manipulated the tooth profile to contour the chain. So you'll actually look close. It's uh, you know thin, it's nice and thick, and there's a tiny little bit of hook on there. So it's really meant to keep the chain on that one ring. And as we kind of move back, this is where kind of a lot of the magic happens. But we wanted to give that wide range. So you know you're fast to you know you're fast on the double track or the high speed sections, and then you can climb kind of all day in that big ring. So you know we're offering the front ring in uh, 28 to 38 in two tooth increments. And in the back, it's 1142, or 1042, I should say. So it really gives you a wide range. So guys that want to go to Moab, or guys that want to go up to Whistler, or Midwest guys, you know, you can change that front chain ring really easy, you know? But in the back, we kind of, uh, you know, we've kept a lot of the technologies through the SRAM family, like, that, that came up through this. So the XX1 cassette, um, so, you know, same, same dome technology to keep it nice and light. But we also wanted to focus on that chain management system. So we've changed the rear derailleur. We've kept, kept the clutch, so the type two clutch. So the one more roller bearing in there, obviously to dampen any kind of chain movement. But we've, we've actually changed the derailleur into a straight parallelogram. So with other rear derailleurs, there's an angled parallelogram to kind of follow the contour of the cassette down. So we found that you know, kind of when you're hitting those those big hits and the, any kind of vertical impact, you're actually getting a bit of movement in the rear derailleur. Well, we wanted to try and eliminate that. So this is a straight parallelogram. So it shifts directly horizontal. Yeah. So when you put force on the top here, it doesn't move. So you can take the other one; it kind of moves a little. So that's kind of one of the big benefits. And then kind of with the front chain ring, the clutch, and then the straight parallelogram, that's where you're coming with the, with the really great overall kind of chain management system, you know, in a really lightweight package.